What I have here is an old Bakelite rotary phone that I purchased some time ago. Now I have had this working, um, but I no longer have a phone line connected to the house since I went to NBN. So it's, it's not working because it's not plugged in at the moment. But I want to be able to do a little project using a Node MCU. And this little module here, this is designed to make the the frequency and the voltage for a phone to ring. So this is a converts 12 volts to 70 volts at 20 hertz. So I'll put the information up for this and the schematic at the end of the video. So I was able to get this all to work. I'm using a MOSFET here to turn the, the power on and off in this to this. And uh, I haven't um, done the Node MCU in the circuit yet, but uh, I'm working on that. And so this is how it all works, something like this. So I'm thinking of having around about four different programs to um, give different um, ring intervals on the on the phone. So this, this work seems to work fine. So now I'm going to put it all this onto a printed circuit board. So let's have a look at that.
Okay, so the board's all together here. Um, I was originally going to use this MOSFET, but um, after um, testing it, it didn't really work, and it looks like it's something to do with the 3.3 volt um, output of the node MCU. So what I put in there just to test it and seems to work was a, um, a 2N, NN, NNA, um, NPN transistor and uh, I put that in um, and it's, uh, it seems to be driving this unit okay it didn't blow up I don't know if it's going to last forever but this is a, a unit that's really going to be used anyway this is just for show um, so I put a because there's a 12 volt power supply and here I've got this uh, little um, step down power unit so 12 volt goes in and you can adjust it and I've got 5 volts coming out which is driving the with the electronics here, the um, node MCU, I've got a little LED, power LED, and also I've got uh, a, a light here that indicates when it's actually sending information or trigger pulsing the phone. So I'll put in four switches here with different programs. So we'll just test one. I don't know what one's what, but I'll just press one and we'll see it work. The case, and I'll press a different one. So that's all the programming's in the um, Node MCU. Um, so what I'm going to do now is that this is all working. I'm going to mount it all into this box here, and uh, and I'll put the the LED. Oh, there you go. To touch one of the switches um so there so that's going to mount all that into there and so we'll see how that's going to be done and then we'll come back to it
Okay, so it's all back together. Um, I've got the um, power in here in the phone connector, and I have redone these switches, so you have to hold them down for one second before it triggers. So we're getting any false triggers there. So let's do that now. Okay, then we'll do this one. Just one more little thing, um, because I used the Node MCU, I was able to set it up so it was connected to the network. So you can send a command um, to make the phone ring um, via your web browser, so on your mobile phone or a, a laptop or a computer that's connected to the network. Um, so to do that is you open up a browser and you put in the IP address of what this unit is and then with a forward slash then capital ring and then one that will press number one and you could change that to um, capital ring two and that would be do button number two and so on and so forth. So um, what we'll do is we'll just do this and we'll, just, we'll show you how it works. So there, so you can see how it works. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please press the like button. And if you wish to see more little projects like this, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you.